Cabrini's swimming team is off to a successful season, scoring an overall 4-2 in the last six meets. With each season comes a new captain, as well as major responsibility. Locator Media checked in with some of the swim coaches and captains to see how they plan to lead Cabrini's swim team to continued victories. For um, pretty definitive traits to be a captain, um, whether that's being a great leader, which I think all of our captains are. Um, that's a leader through actions and through words. I'm looking for people that are approachable. I'm looking for people that can bridge the gap um, and become almost a mediator and a correspondent between the coaching staff and the team um, so that both sides are getting what they need from each other. And just captains that are responsible and reliable and accountable and they're willing to hold their teammates to the same standard. Being a captain is sort of an honor to me because it definitely shows to me that after my four years of experience here that um, I'm considered to be reliable, uh, committed, and a hard worker. So being named captain is just like an honor. It's a great feeling to be, uh, to be captain. You know, uh, this past, these past few years, putting in all the work, it, you know, it's just a great feeling uh, to know that your team elected you to be captain of the, um, of the entire team, so yeah. Um, something that made me suitable to be captain was definitely my outgoing personality. Um, I've been a member of the swim team for four years, and I think Cindy decided it would be a good idea for me to take charge this year and be a captain and lead my team to victory. <laughs> the captains are really nice to us. They include us in everything. I think it's nice because freshmen can't have cars on campus, so they drive us places and we can do team bonding things. Um, I really like the way that this year's captain group, I would say, played out. Um, we have three men and three women that were selected captains. I think having sort of a larger captain group for a larger team overall, we have just about 30 swimmers on our team this year, is a good thing. I think that the three men provide a lot of balance with each other as well as the three women. And then I think the six together really provide um, not just that balance, but a lot of different personalities. So I think that everybody has somebody that they feel like they can trust and they feel comfortable with that they need to turn to a captain for something if they feel more comfortable doing that than maybe one of the coaching staff. Building the chemistry of the team usually happens in between practices, you know, when we're not exactly dying in the pool. Uh, we might, you know, go out, have team events, stuff like that, hang out, you know, go out and go bowling or see a movie or something like that. And that's kind of really where you build the team chemistry and when you find out, you know, who the freshmen are, you know, what they like, what their interests are and stuff like that. And I think that really helps uh, when we're trying to build team chemistry. I definitely plan to lead a team by leading by example and always being reliable, giving 100% in the pool, in the weight room and in the classroom as well. So this year is definitely different from other years. We had a team building um, bonding experience in the beginning of the year and it definitely brought our team closer together. And we also made a list of things that we were going to work on this year. And I feel like that list is just um, being shown throughout our season so far and everyone's just working so much closer together than the past years and I'm really excited about this year. There is no question that this year's captains have the vision and desire to succeed, but they need you, their fans, to come to the pool and cheer them on, one stroke at a time.